Hello, this is Nick Anderson, Senior Customer Success Manager with Duke Control. For this video, we are going to overview the notification functionality within our workflows feature. For the example, we are going to use the example of a finance user making a document public. And you'll see I have pre-built our trigger event to include the change document visibility event. Our first condition is ensuring that the actor in this case is in the group finance and that the second condition is ensuring is publicly shared is true, meaning if a document is made from private to public status, it will trigger this event. Now it's very common for our customers to want to receive notifications for these high risk type of events. So you'll see on the left hand side in the actions bar, notify, we have three different notification options within workflows. Notify by email, notify in Slack, notify by webhook. And I'll start by demonstrating notify by email. So I'll drag this action into the canvas. I'll connect it with our trigger event. And then I'll go ahead and click on notify by email to start customizing. So with an action name, I'll say notify security team. For the subject, we can say alert of public share. And you can also within the subject use any of our pre-built macros but you can also do that within the body of the message. And I'll show you different customization options now. Within the text box, we can choose to customize the font. We can make bullet points, we can make lists, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this simple. We'll do hello. I'm going to go back to the macros functionality and say get actor email has shared a document name publicly please review. Now I can go here and choose to preview the message and you'll see that an actor email was populated along with the document name. If I go back to write, I can now go ahead and add in recipients for the email. So in this case, maybe I want to send it to security at newcontrol.io, but then I also want to send it to me so I get this in the, uh, email separately. Io. So you'll see that now these email addresses will receive the same email as BCC. And lastly, we can customize the sender name to ensure that this email looks familiar and doesn't appear to be a phishing attempt. So we can say do control security alert. Now you'll also notice that we have the option to use pre-built templates. Please find our FAQ video on email templates on how to best use them and build them. Now that we have our notification all set up by e for email, we are good to go. And now anytime a user from finance shares documents publicly, the security team can get a notification. Let's move on to notify in Slack. Let's drag and drop this action into the canvas, connect it with the trigger event, and then we'll go ahead and click the tile. You'll see here we can give the action a name. We'll call this one notify in Slack of public share. And you'll see we have two options for notify in Slack. We can notify a Slack channel. Please note that we have a requirement that this must be a public channel in order to receive notify uh, notifications via Slack channel, or we also have users. We can then send DMs to individual Slack users. Another requirement for using Slack channels for notifications is to ensure that DoBot has been pushed out to this channel. For my example, I'll go ahead and I'll stick with DMs. And in this case, I will find myself. And again, you can use get actor email if you're choosing to notify users directly. But again, in my case, I just want to send a DM to myself. And I can say hello. And very similar to the email, we are going to use these macros for the Slack text as well. Shared and we can go ahead once we've created our message, we can preview what this will look like. So again, coming from Dubot, pre-populates with the actor email and the document name. And we have built our Slack notification. Now, lastly, if we wanted to receive notifications via webhook, 
Let me go ahead and connect this to the trigger event. A very common use case for our customers to notify by webhook is when they want notifications to go to private Slack channels. Because of limitations with the Slack integration, we can only send notifications to public channels and notify by Slack. But if you do set up a direct webhook to your Slack app, we can send the notifications via webhook to private channels. And again, the, the experience is the exact same where we choose the action name. We can choose which webhook we want to send it to, essentially which private channel, whether it's Teams, whether it's Slack, and then we can choose again to customize the message. And I'll go ahead and choose vector email. Name. It's review. And again, I will go ahead and preview this message. If you have any questions on setting up a webhook with Microsoft Teams, with Set uh, with Slack, please reach out to your customer success manager or our support team. We'd be happy to help you with setting up this webhook. This concludes the video for notifications. Again, please bring any questions to your customer success manager in your regular cadence calls. We are happy to assist you with building out these workflows. Thank you.